All right, just making a quick little video. I'm going to change the uh, shocks on my car. They suck. I'm going to go ahead and guess and say these are the original shocks that came on the car. This car is 16 years old. It's 2002. As I stated previously, got it for $13,000. I really can't complain for that price and the condition that this thing is in. Uh, this does have a slight engine tick. And if anybody knows anything about LS1s and what could cause tickings in them, it would be very beneficial to me to know. I would really appreciate that. But just removed all these uh, little caps that go over the lug nuts. And I'm gonna have to get this wheel off, jack, you know, jack the car up, and remove that shock. And by doing that, I had to remove the carpet. And there's this foam pad that goes in there. Just pull that out, then it exposes the top of the strut there, got the nut, got the washer and the bushing. I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side. And these are the new ones that I got. Monroe OE Spectrum. It costed 60 bucks for the pair, which I don't think is too bad. And I'll keep you updated. All right, it took me a while and some ingenuity, a little brainstorming to figure this out. This spindle right here, this bolt with threads that come through from the shock. I'm sitting here using a socket wrench, thinking I was getting the nut off. And it was this was spinning with it. This whole assembly was spinning, so the nut wasn't coming off at all. So what I had to do is I had to push this all the way back as far as possible. I got some vice grips, and there's kind of a flat edge on the top there. And what I did was I just took the vice grips mounted down to it and then spun it off here with a 5 8 regular wrench. It was sitting, I'm sitting there twisting, twisting tw for about two, three minutes and it just didn't feel like I was doing anything when I was using a regular deep well socket. So here's a tip, just, you know, if it feels like it's not coming out, just use some vice grips, plug it down to the top and the flat surface and then just use a 5 8 wrench or whatever size uh, nut. To get this thing out it was kind of a pain in the butt here we go one shock out there's the port hole for it so use a 21 millimeter socket to get the bolt out here where that bolt went All right. here's the old hardware there's a nut uh, I sprayed some wd-40 on it before taking that off, just letting it sit a little bit. So I'm gonna put the new one in. Let's take a look at this. So you know what? I don't know if this thing's good or not. I'm gonna test it out. All right, so I got one side done. And one thing I wanted to point out that I am very happy about with this car is that it's untouched. There is no freaking hole here or somebody cut out a little panel to try to get to that fuel tank for the fuel pump, which I see happen in a lot of cars, I don't know. To me, it just bothers me for some reason. I don't know if it has any uh, any effect on the, the stability or the structure of the car itself. That, that just makes me cringe when I see that. That's what happened in the 92 Camaro that I bought. Uh, saw some videos on it, went, had the suspicion, lifted up the carpet, and yeah, somebody did a shit job putting it back together. It was just like epoxy glued. I had to bend it down with a hammer to try to get it as straight as possible. And that just burned me so bad. So I got something one side done. And I tested out this uh, shock. I don't know what else it could be now. This shock seems pretty damn good. It's a pain in ass to push it down. I can't push it down with one arm. There we go. That is not easy. And it comes out. No problem. So I don't know what else is causing a squeak. I don't know if it could be the springs or maybe the end bars, then end links for the sway bars are going out. But if you have any uh, insight on it, I would appreciate some input. And there she is. She purdy. All right. Once again, Thank you for watching my struggles. Laugh if you want. I don't care.
Take it easy.